I was just about to start my second vlog episode and when the video actually you know cut off beforehand I just uh, speak what's on my mind I don't really have a script going but uh, the video stopped because my iPhone storage was full I had a lot of uh, a lot of photos and videos on this on this uh, 64 gigabyte iPhone and memory just ran out but uh, I'm back here I'm trying to make this a consistent thing this is my second vlog episode I want to be on here once a week talking about anything that comes to mind really today I wanted to talk about real estate brokers in New York State or in New York City I have the real deals data data book 2019 and uh, oh, I didn't buy their 2020 edition book but can anyone take a guess at how much actual real estate brokers there are in the city? I want to take a wild guess at how many numbers. Uh, okay, on, on page 25, it goes over the amount of salespersons out there. And take, take a look at these numbers. That's just... That's just ridiculous. That is that is absolutely, absolutely insane that there, there are, in 2018... There were 58,505 real estate agents and brokers in New York City. That's, I can only imagine the number of this rising or staying the same or going down, up or down 1%. But like now it's the amount of brokers outnumber the listings. If you go, the most accurate search site for real estate is streeteasy.com, which is owned by Zillow. And Zillow everyone's going to complain about Zillow because they're like the virtual monopoly of real estate. You know, I asked a question to my Facebook following the other day asking if you wanted to buy property or real estate, where would you go? One person commented Zillow. Another person said, um, a real estate website and another person commented, uh, like tagged another broker that, that they, they would have used. But like the vast majority of people, the most popular search to use for real estate is streeteasy.com. But, uh, you know, I'm, I'm predicting catastrophic job loss in the real estate brokerage sector uh, when it comes to being able to close a deal when the listings have virtual tours. So there's not really need for tenant representation or, or buyers brokers are being a, a, a thing of the past. Tenant representation is a thing of the past. You could go directly to the landlord or to the listing, uh, to the landlord's agent, the listing listing broker, uh, the listing agent is uh, the, 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 the bread and butter of the industry now. But uh, if you actually go on Street Easy and go to Manhattan or Brooklyn the apartments, uh, rentals or sales, you notice for sales, there's about 23,000 listings in New York City, according to Street Easy. And they're like one of the most you know, reliable sources for this, uh, for the information. About 5,000 listings have a 3D tour. Now, I measure the reason why I'm in the business for is I believe that this number should be going up or even skyrocketing over the next couple of years because people are going to wonder or think of a listing that doesn't have a virtual tour as a fake listing now that, that's my own two cents on it because it, it should be like why can i visit like in my search see two virtual tours of properties that that that, that are match my search criteria but the other three i have to go visit them in person this is uh it's ridiculous you know, it doesn't uh, doesn't cost that much to provide these virtual tours, but the agents are withholding the industry. It's uh, the reality is the brokers that are typically sellers agents are going to be doing two and three times, maybe ten times the amount of business as the as as uh, as things go along. And the agents that don't have those connections to the sellers are, you know, they're busy branding themselves as, you know, oh, well, we, we know the market. Well, someone shopping online and seeing the virtual tours, they're going to become an expert on the market, on the asking prices of the market. You know, you're saying that you're going to be better beneficial to them because you're going to 
negotiate down the price of the listing. And th th there was always some leeway. The seller's agent has some good ability to cut off on their own commission if they wanted to, like, if they really wanted to sell a property and people are being aggressively trying to negotiate because who wants to pay the listing price on real estate, like, you know? But I think in the next 30 years, I can't imagine someone like paying a real estate broker's fee for, for what this uh, industry is going to become all virtual tours and it's going to be the one the one with the best virtual tours and the most exposure to it online is going to be the winner. That's why I think I could partner joint partnerships with real estate brokers in the city that have the majority of the listings. And it's really, I've been told before that there's about 4,000 or 5,000 real estate brokers developers, maybe and property managers and landlords, that if you were to build a relationship with all of them, you'd have control over the New York City industry. So I want to go and devote the next <laughs> couple of years, the next decade or two to finding out who these power players are and building a good relationship with them. Because if I get the top 1000 or the top, even the top 300, real estate brokers out there let's say they each have five listings that's five times 300 is 1500 that's that's incredible the amount of listings to have to shop for on on the site and i could do some you know make sure that it's only that the, of the same quality of listings like there'll be 1500 uh actually scrap that is that it's not 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 necessarily to say that you know i would only put up one bedroom apartments, but um, being able to have a lot of listings on the site with the virtual tour is going to be you know, uh, what's going to be driving my business and what's going to be driving yours too in the future is definitely having that good virtual tour to go and talk about. And I know I'm saying that this uh, 58,000 number or what whatnot is, is ridiculous because, you know, Let's say eight, every agent had a listing that would that would make sense, but then you wouldn't be making that much money off of it. So, how could there possibly be sixty thousand agents and twenty five thousand listings or fifteen thousand listings on the market? You know, that makes no sense whatsoever. the The problem is, and I've put this in my two two thousand sixteen commercial teaser about the industry, is that. It's a brokerage firm business model it just hasn't changed, especially with the brokerage firms here in New York City. They aren't getting the gist of how to conduct themselves in the right manner. We are producing more and more agents that's just shooting uh, shooting the, the seller's agents, the ones that actually drive the business, you know, in the shooting them in the foot because you're producing extra agents when the market's oversaturated. We don't, we don't need it. There's no, de there's zero demand for an additional broker or an agent to join a firm. So I can't imagine, you know, when push comes to shove the hiring and recruiting, and I used to work in recruiting too. The recruiting efforts of these brokerage firms, uh, is going to is going to be a wasteful business. You should spend more time developing the agent's ability to branch out on social media and and and, and really uh, grasp you know more followers and get more engagement going than spending time to hire and train on a new agent that's just not going to be able to survive during the next you know when, when the proliferation of virtual reality becomes a thing where it becomes the standard. You know, right now on current websites, you would see photos, video tour, virtual tour, or 3D tour, right? In the future, or even on my site, when I'm going to update it, it's just going to have 3D tour, <laughs> virtual tour with the agent, and photos, or no photos at all. Like, on my site, if you don't post photos, I don't care. They'll just say, sorry, no photos, but we're going to make it a little bit more interactive, where we're going to say, you know, that's... Uh, photos are a thing of the past. We don't use those anymore. So I, I would like to think, uh, I would like to hear from other real estate brokers or industry veterans, you know, what do you think about if my site were to go completely without photos, how would, how would you feel? Or how would you feel about doing that for your own firm? Like just go 
straight virtual reality and no photos. Well, I have like a good 10 minute counter time limit. So see you next time.